Why does every guy cheat on you? Trust me, I know. How come girls always call you their friend? I can tell you. We'll talk about your strength and we'll talk about emotions. Secrets of Birthdays, now live for purchase. Check out yours at secretsofbirthdays.com. Hello, Your Honor, and welcome now to Wednesday, and thank you for logging in. Cloudy, self-reflective today, really focusing on a lot privately. The moon is in Gemini, so you're no longer feeling tender. You're probably not feeling vulnerable. That's good. The moon's in an air sign just like you, so emotions aren't so heavy. You're very reflective. This is a time of feeling through things, feeling through what you believe. This is your monthly visitor, basically, where you reflect on what you just lived. So learning from the emotion you went through in the last 30 days, replaying old conversations in your head, rereading old emails, rereading old comments, and learning. It's a great time to just put your nose in a book, learn, absorb, take a small trip. Basically, you're taking a little trip from your life when the moon is in Gemini. Zip into the sun. We're also taking a trip today. The sun in chapter two of Cancer ruled by Neptune today. That makes us all quite logged out, okay? Actually, we're logged in. We're logged into our subconscious and our higher self. This is a time really to intuit, to meditate, to get to the bottom of your subconscious. Right now, you're working on career and legacy and where you're putting yourself in that regard. Today's a great day to get to the bottom of why you don't like your current job or what you really want to do or what you think you really would be good at. So uh, you may also get to the bottom of why it is this why it is that you can't get motivated or something like that. You're trying to get out there with your career, but for some reason you just can't motivate yourself. Get to the subconscious. Those are where the weeds are stored, and Neptune is a great time to do that. Also a great time to meditate or pray. And then lastly, Mars. Mars says it's time to decide now, Libra, where you're going to pull your weeds, what weeds are going to come up, and when it's going to happen. You are about to wrap up a weeding transit that's lasted a two and a half years, basically, with this retrograde. As of July 22nd, you begin the reconstruction of your ego, and the weeds should be faced. So no more hemming and hawing, no more going back and forth with the scales. Decide and act, says Mars. And it's Wednesday, so we have Skip Jennings, Urban Mystic, going live today. He's doing Chapter 3 of Sun and Cancer already. He's got some key terms and some positive affirmations on the cancer vibration. In your case, this helps you with your career. He's also got a seven-day challenge, should you be brave enough to take it. Don't miss Skip. He's live everywhere in the garden. And tonight, no DJ David Palmer. He is gone for one more week on assignment, but he will be back with Astro Mingle in one week, and I look forward to partying with him and seeing David again in the studio. It's going to be a good time, plus it's going to be summer. All right, Libra, that's all I have for Wednesday. I'm back tomorrow with a lot more. Live, love, be. So...